Hello friend, welcome back. In our all previous video, we successfully complete our code application for our that is our all that users. So right now, we, all that user actually comes from our database, and also we complete that all category option. So from the call category here, you can edit it, you can temporarily delete it, and also you can del permanently delete it from here, right? And also from to this position, you can add this category. And also I have discussed about that brand and into the brand area, you can also add uh, your brand with the images. You can edit this brand and also you can delete it. And there is also another option I discuss about that is a multi images. So how can upload multi images at a time? I have already discussed about that things with you, everything with a live example, right? And also there is our profile. That means our profile and the logout. So now friend, I want to do, I want to change it. That means that is our default dashboard, right? And that is our found in. So that is our found in. There is some of the, when I installed Laravel, Laravel provided this type of one of the found in. Here, I want to change everything. I want to change that found in. I also want to change that back in. So if you want to change it like in your exercise folder, so I will, after end of this course, I will share this file with you. And here I have already taken two of these a theme one will be for our found in and also there is another one for the back in theme okay so right now i want to do i want to apply both of these so into the found in area that means here i want to use this theme so that is the theme i if you open it i show you like it is a uh, open so if you actually understand this part you can um, make it as per your demand so they have so many themes so right now for our this project i want to use this theme okay so here you can see there is our home there is they have some of the slider so how can make this slider dynamic i show you so that means everything will be managed from our this dashboard that means from our back end okay so also if you go so there is our slider there is some of the about portions how can make it dynamic I will show you there is a service option. You can also make it as a dynamic. That is our portfolio. So here, if you want to make it dynamic, that means everything will be managed from our backend. Okay. And also they have some of the client option and that is the footer. So for our found in theme, I want to use it. That is our about us space. So that will be as a about us space um, layout. And there is a service layout. That is a portfolio. Okay. That is our contact. So right now I want to do step by step. I want to make it as a dynamic. So that is one of the HTML uh, static website. So that means website template. So right now I want to do uh, for our font end. I want to use this one. Okay. And also for the back end, if you open it, so that is also that is another dictionary. So that is one of the back end theme I want to use. If you open with the index, like I show you, if you use Google. So for the back end, I want to use it. Okay. That means here when you, this user will be logged in successfully. So our this de default uh, back end, I want to change it here. I want to load our this theme. Okay. That means that will be our back end theme. So here everything I want to step by step, I will add it. So everything I will add it. And from to this back end option, I want to manage our total font in our font end will be this one. Okay. So I will share both of this uh, template to you. So that is one of the exercise folders So the, this exercise folder. So after the end of this course, I will share this exercise file to you. Okay, friend. So how can change your back end? How can I add one of the templates? So if you understand that one template, how we can template it, how we can set up your template into the Laravel default authentication system, and also how can add your found in template. So if you understand this, you can add any template in your project. Okay, friend. So how can change it? How can change your backend? How can change your font end? How can I apply some of the theme in our next video? Step by step, I will show you everything with a live example. So thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video.